Welcome back. Today I want to illustrate decrease of freedom and the adjusted R squared. In the previous session on regression analysis, we looked at the R squared and we already talked about degrees of freedom without explaining them in any further detail. So what I want to do now is I want to illustrate degrees of freedom in a very simple way using an example. I open starter and I just now go to the data editor where I can input my data. So actually what I want to do is I want to um, create my own data set which is kind of artificial data. You can just randomly type any numbers you want and we just do two variables and only two observations. That's all we do. So two variables, variable one, variable two and two observations, so two rows. And we just close that and it's now stored in our data set. The first thing I want to do now is I want to simply visualize it. So I just do a scatter plot and I just do the first and the second variable and just have a look. And obviously what we get is we get two points in um, a two dimensional space. And as you um, should know from um, basic geometry, um, two points in two dimensional space, they define a straight line uniquely. Yeah? So you can easily draw a straight line through this. Yeah? So if we now run a regression analysis, for instance, yeah, we just do that here, we do a regression analysis and we run that, we would um, get the obvious result you would get a perfect fit. You see this, we are squared is equal to one, which is the maximum possible. So everything is explained. Why is this the case? Well, we, we only have two observations. We have two observations and they define um, a straight line uniquely. And um, a regression model is basically fitting a straight line. And um, hence, all the observations are sitting perfectly on my straight line by default. And when you look over here, you see that df degrees of freedom in this model is equal to zero. There are no degrees of freedom because there is no wiggle room. Yeah? So the two observations you have, they are needed to define your straight line and it's uniquely defined. So degrees of freedom are zero. Yeah? It's not a very meaningful model, obviously, because um, it does not give you any any wiggle room, so to speak. Yeah? So these two observations are the bare minimum needed to define a straight line. Good. How can we visualize this? Well, we can just do a predict command. I just talk about fit here. You can name it as you want. I do a two-way chart. I do a scatter plot here where I put in the two variables. And I do a line chart where I use the fit and uh, I use variable two to predict and I would see now the straight line connecting these two observations and obviously you become, um, you know, it's perfect. It's a perfect model. Good. Um, so how do we get more degrees of freedom? Well, we just add more observations to it. Yeah, we can just easily do that. So let's run into the data editor and I um, increase now the degrees of freedom. So how do I do it? I add more observations. I just add another observation in here. I just now make up a few numbers and have a third observation and close it. Then I drop my fit, get rid of it because we want to re-estimate that. Now we run um, the regression model one more time. And in this case, now we have three observations. And um, you see we have now one degree of freedom in the residuals. So that gives us a bit of, of a wiggle room. Um, and we get um, now um, differences in, in terms of our R squared. It looks um, very different um, compared to before. And we just again visualize it and we do our scatter plot. So we just repeat what we have done. And now you have um, this line which certainly explains um, more or less nothing. Yeah, not a big surprise, but now you have a degree of freedom. Yeah, so this becomes uh, more meaningful. Again, of course, only one degree of freedom um, isn't that um, amazingly useful. Yeah. And again, how can I reduce my degrees of freedom? Um, well, I can now add um, um, one more um, variable to the model. 
Yes, at the moment you see the R squared is, is, is basically zero. You explain nothing. Yeah, and the R squared will always um, get better if you if you add more variables to the model because it it cuts back on your degrees of freedom. So if we do that here, we just um, add now a new variable in here, and we just um, add again some random numbers, so something like that, and we have our variable 5, we close it, um, again we, we could drop fit, but we don't actually um, go into this, I just want to show you the regression model, so I just now add the third variable to it, um, and again what happens is I get a perfect fit, yeah? so a massive improvement from nothing to perfect. Yeah? So that's, that's um, the illustration. So degrees of freedom depend on how many parameters you have in your model. If you only have one independent variable, like in the first case, you basically estimate in two dimensions a straight line. So you need two points to define the straight line uniquely. If you only have two observations, your degrees of freedom are zero. So adding observation increases your degrees of freedom and then of course you um, can do meaningful statistical analysis. So usually you should at least have 30 or more degrees of freedom, otherwise it becomes um, quite meaningless and, and it's um, then an issue of, of um, small samples and all, all sorts of problems that could occur. Now if we want to um, add an additional variable that could explain our dependent variable, this, um, by default, will improve my R squared, yeah? because the R squared on its own does not account for degrees of freedom. The adjusted R squared does. Yeah? So this is an adjustment for degrees of freedom. Of course, if I have very, very low numbers there, so very small degrees of freedom, of course, the adjusted R squared will be terrible. Yeah? So you need a significant number um, to do a, a meaningful analysis. So that's the difference between the R squared and the adjusted R squared. The adjusted R squared um, takes care of the degrees of freedom and accounts for the fact that adding more variables to the model, even if they are meaningless, um, improves your R squared by default. Yeah? So in this example, when we added a third variable, we basically now um, try to fit um, a plane. So we are in, in R3, so in three dimensions. We only have three observations. By um, default, we know three observations, so three points in a three-dimensional space. They define a plane uniquely. So by default, every, every observation is on the plane, so your R squared has to be equal to 1 which of course is, um, is meaningless yeah, in terms of statistical modeling. So that's a quick illustration of degrees of freedom. I hope you enjoyed.